Hi there, Scaredy Cats. It's me, Scaredy Matt. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. You're, you're used to seeing me in, in a floating black void discussing movies with a script in front of me that you don't see, but I'm reading to you. That's that behind the magic. That's what I'm doing this whole time. Here's the thing. This week, I am getting married. And then after that, I'm going to be away on honeymoon. So I didn't have a lot of time to put together Scaredy Cats videos for that period. So I thought rather than leave you with nothing, I would throw together this. Uh, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be doing a tier list of various classic horror movies. Uh, a theme is very quickly going to emerge, which is that I have seen no horror movies. Uh, I have looked through the the list um, uh, uh, that that I've of the. So I went to tierlistmaker.com. I think it's uh, tiermaker.com. It's called, uh, and searched for their um, their their tier list of of best horror movies. I considered briefly making my own until I, I downloaded a couple of thumbnails and I'm like, oh no, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> like if I was gonna if I was gonna do that, I might as well just script and shoot a video. Um, which I'm not going to do. I've already decided. So I chose uh the best one I could find, uh the best uh tier list of horror movies if you'd like to play along at home. There is a link in the description that you can check out. Uh and I'm going to walk you through my choices as best as I'm able to. Um, keep in mind, however, that as I said, I have seen no horror movies. Let's adjust this webcam so you can see my beautiful face the whole time a little bit better. There we go. Just got a haircut looking pretty good. All right, let's, uh, let's get to this. First of all, 10 Cloverfield Lane, great movie. I, I, I wouldn't say it's like, I wouldn't say it's one of the best but it's very good. Uh, I think that is a solid B tier. And that might sound like an insult. Let me, let me, let me walk you through my rating system here. All right, so we got your, your S movies. Let's, let's move my ugly mug out of the way here. So the over here is probably better for me to be. Uh, you got your S tier. That is the best of the best. That's for the, the, the movies that just, you know, one in a million. A tier, 10 out of 10. You know, a movie that's not going to change the world, but it's it's like as good as it's going to get. And then B, just a good movie. But it's a good movie. Watch this movie. C, good movie with qualifications. D, very bad movie. F, do not watch this movie. This is a terrible movie. The, just be just a piece of dog shit movie. Haven't seen, self-explanatory. Not going to explain that one to you. 10 Cloverfield Lane. Good movie. It's about as good as I'm willing to go on 10 Cloverfield Lane. I think I love it. I love John Goodman. Uh, I love uh, the other actors who's, who I don't remember are, uh, who was in it. But I quite liked it. Uh, 13 Ghosts. We've got our first haven't seen. Get used to that. Get used to seeing me put that on the board. Uh, I don't... I'm having trouble seeing what this one is supposed to be. This is Nightmares, which not only have I not seen, I've never heard of. So that goes in the haven't seen. Saw? This is going to upset some people. I don't like Saw. I don't... But I also don't think it's, like, bad enough. Like, it's it's certainly not F. Certainly not F. I, th I think that much is, is obvious. Uh, I'm going to go with... D and that's that's very much a personal choice. I don't care. Lots of people like this movie. I found it quite boring and uh, I just wasn't invested. Um, and the, and if you you know it's it's a movie that requires a certain amount of tension to function. And if you're not feeling it, then the movie is just a slog. Reanimator, uh, obviously, uh, I'm a big fan of. Um, I'm going to put that in the A tier. I think that is solidly A. It's straddling the line between A and S. Can I put it straddling? No. Okay. So it's it's A for sure. 
Fantastic movie. Love Reanimator. Star-making performance by Jeffrey Combs. If you haven't seen Reanimator, the, how many times do I got to wear this shirt before you watch this movie? Repulsion? I'm sorry. I have not seen. I know it's, it's supposed to be really good. I've heard that it's difficult to watch. And uh, I'm a little baby, and I've just never watched it. Silent Night, Deadly Night? Look, I feel like a lot of people have affection for this movie that is perhaps unearned. Uh, I think this is pretty solidly D tier. I, I think, I think if we're being honest with ourselves, that that's a D tier movie. Uh, I I think it's fun to pretend like it isn't sometimes, especially in the sequel or Garbage Day. You know that's fun, not good. Come on, we're not kids anymore. Cabin in the Woods. I like Cabin in the Woods. Wouldn't say I love it. I would say that is. See, I don't think it's 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 as good as Ten Cloverfield Lane. I think Ten Cloverfield Lane is a better movie than Cabin in the Woods, and I'll die on that hill. But I don't think it's bad enough to go into the C tier. I think I would give a full recommend to Cabin in the Woods. Um, so definitely B tier. Good movie. I uh, would highly recommend anyone watch it. Uh, not great. You know, not incredible. Not life changing. Uh, Unbreakable. Now, Unbreakable is a movie I have seen, but I watched it in junior high, so I don't know if my opinion would have changed in the intervening couple decades, but uh, I remember quite liking it. So, for safety's sake, I'm putting that in the B tier. <laughs> it is definitely a fantastic movie uh, when you're 12, uh, and beyond that, I can't really speak to it. This one's gonna, this one's gonna push some buttons, I think. 28 Days Later... I, I legit, this is an S tier movie, in my opinion. Not so much for the movie itself, but f th like its influence, I think, like not, not simply because of fast zombies, but like just the whole look of the movie. Like it, it, it was the first movie that I'd ever seen that I knew was shot digitally. And it had this real grainy, shitty look to it that made everything look like it was happening in a war zone. And I feel like after 28 Days Later, a lot of movies just stole that look. Um, and I don't know if 28 Days Later got it from somewhere else, but it was definitely the first place I saw it. And I just think it's a fantastic movie. Uh, the ending is very weak. Uh, and it's not as weak as the the original ending. Uh or the the, um, the the original ending of the script where they give Jim a blood transfusion and take all of the zombie blood out of his body. Uh, but it, it still, uh, I think, deserves its place in the S tier. 30 Days of Night? That, I think, is a good movie with some reservations. It is not... It, it's, not it's not a movie I would recommend to anyone... But if it's for a particular kind of person who's willing to kind of let go of how silly a movie's story can be, because it's quite silly and it, it is not self-aware whatsoever. Uh, but I quite I quite like it. I liked 30 Days of Night. The ABCs of Death, I'm going to be honest with you. I tried to watch this movie once. I got I was really high and there was a scene with a spider fairly early on. And I am terribly arachnophobic. So uh, I, I had to turn the movie off. Uh, so I have, I have only seen like maybe 10, 15 minutes of it at most. So I think that belongs in the have not seen. Similarly, Alien 3, I have not seen Alien 3. I've only, I've heard that the Alien movies are really bad after Aliens. Never watched them, so. Alien, I think that is, that deserves to be in the S tier. But on my personal list, I would put it in B. Because, <laughs> it look, if we're going purely by, like, how, how good a movie is, absolutely it's an S tier. Like, it's, it's a masterpiece. Uh, this is widely acknowledged by everyone on Earth but me, who found... Who I, maybe this is a movie I need to rewatch with an adult eye. But I watched it in high school, and I was like, oh, I don't get it. This isn't for me. Um, but... Obviously, I'm alone in that opinion, and I should probably rewatch it because uh, I, I imagine it's much better than I remember it being. Um, and that's happened to me with movies in the past. 
American Psycho. That's a C if I've ever seen one. That is a the movie's fine. The the it is the textbook definition of a movie that is fine. Uh, I don't. What is this movie? Is this just Get Out? What? The Amityville Horror. Amityville Horror. Well, I always say Amityville. Um. Uh, you know what I'm going to say. I haven't seen it. Also haven't seen Anaconda. Probably not going to lose a lot of sleep over not seeing Anaconda. This one should come as no surprise to anyone who's familiar with my channel. But A Nightmare on Elm Street, that's, that's as S-tier as they get, baby. I mean, welcome to prime time, bitch. Which I know is from part three, but part three is not on the list. But if it were, it would also be S-tier. Unlike Nightmare on Elm Street part two, which... Is a, is a very fun movie, but let, let's be honest with ourselves, that's a C-tier movie. It's very fun, very goofy. Uh, it, it is famously quite gay, and that gives it a, you know, a solid... That gives you an extra thumb up, in my opinion, but it is, uh, it is campy and fun, but it's not, it's not great. Come on. Let's be real. We're not kids anymore. Annabelle, have not seen... Any of these that any Annabelle is one of Annabelle is one of them spooky boo boo face movies where a face just pops up and spooks you. And that's that's what makes it scary, and I'm just not interested in that. I don't find that entertaining. Apollo 18 have not seen it. Sorry, Arachnophobia once again got very high. Tried to watch it. Love John Goodman. Too many spiders. So, uh, in fact, just for that reason, I'm going to put it in the F tier because there's too many spiders in it. I know that it, I haven't like actually watched the movie. I've only watched the opening. But the opening had so many spiders that I, I feel comfortable putting it in the F tier. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Never seen it. Did own the sequel on VHS for several decades. Never actually watched it. Kept it in a shrink wrap. Got it at a flea market. Never seen either of these movies. Once again, probably not going to lose sleep over that one. Alien vs. Predator. That movie is fucking dog shit. That movie is the first movie on this list that deserves an F rating. There is, there is nothing redeemable about Alien vs. Predator. It's a, it's a dog shit movie. Uh, and if you like it, you are wrong. Rewatch it. It's bad. Uh, Birdemic? That's a, that's a B. Again, doesn't deserve to be. I, I think it's, it, it should be apparent to anyone watching this that Birdemic doesn't deserve to be in the same tier as Alien. Once again, we're going by my personal enjoyment of these movies. So on that level, yeah, I mean, I really like Birdemic. I liked Alien more, obviously, uh, even though I didn't like Alien that much. But like, I, you know, Birdemic is a solid 15 minutes of entertainment sandwiched between like an hour and a half of just misery and slogging through boring bullshit that it, it only seems like fun because you watch it with your friends when you're drunk and in that on that level it's it's very fun uh my bloody valentine i don't know if this is the original or the remake i have not seen the remake but if it's the original i would say that is a solid b i do like uh the original i love the uh nova scotian accents um and just the general cheapness of the movie but then the really like well done kills out of nowhere great stuff now i can't tell if this is frankenstein or bride of frankenstein i think it's bride because you can see her peeking up down there i think bride of franken bride of frankenstein that's an a tier movie for sure i love bride of frankenstein um i think it does everything the original frankenstein did a little bit better uh, it's got more going on. Dr. Pretorius is a lot of fun. Um, the bride herself is really cool. I don't know. It's just, I think it's a, a, like it's James Wales Frankenstein is fantastic, especially for something, you know, as old as it is. Uh, it still holds up to this day. It's still watchable. Um, but it, it, it shows its age a lot more than Bride of Frankenstein, in my opinion. Candyman, and that's the last time I'm going to say the title of that film because I don't want him coming to get me. That's that's S tier, baby. That's that's S tier. That's let's be real. 
Let's be real for a second. Let's stop playing and admit to ourselves that Candyman is S tier. Okay? And I don't know who I'm arguing with, because probably you agree. It's a very good movie. Um, Carrie. This is gonna this is gonna upset a lot of people. But that's gotta go in the C tier for me. And that's being generous. I did not enjoy watching Carrie. There is one scary scene that it takes uh, an hour <laughs> to get to. And then it, okay, she kills people who are mean to her. I wouldn't have been mean to her. I would have been fine. Doesn't scare me. Uh, Children of the Corn. You know what? I haven't seen it. All right. Likewise, Christine. Also, the original Cloverfield. Haven't seen that. Haven't seen Creature from the Black Lagoon. Haven't seen, I think, Creep? The Crow. The Crow, I'm not going to rate because that is not a horror movie. That doesn't belong on this list. It will receive no rating from me, though I do quite like it. Cujo, have not seen. Cabinet of Dr. Caligari? Is the... This movie is, I think, more of something you watch to get an appreciation of film history and how far we've come than something people legitimately enjoy watching most of the time. It's, 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 it's like homework, but as a movie. Uh, but it, it, you know, the sets are really cool. Um, so that's something. Uh, I would put that B tier. Good movie. It's short. It's not going to waste your time. Um, but it's kind of like, you know, don't expect too much. It's, it's a very early film. Um, Day of the Dead. This, this movie I'm probably going to overrate, uh, because I quite like it. Uh, it is, it's not my favorite of George A. Romero's Dead trilogy, the original first three, which I still consider a trilogy. I know there's way more in the series now, but, uh, when I watched them, they were a trilogy. Um, Day of the Dead originally was my favorite of them, but over time, Dawn of the Dead has far surpassed it. I think Dawn of the Dead is the superior movie in a lot of ways. Day of the Dead, though, is still fantastic, and it contains the best scene in cinema history, the best line read ever done. Uh, and I think for that reason alone, it has earned its place in the A tier. Dead End. I don't even, I've never heard of that. Dead Silence, not seen it. The Descent? This is a movie that I think was a little overhyped for me. So I'm going to put that one straight in the C tier. It's fine. It didn't bother me, but did not have a particularly good time watching that one. I'm sorry. Elevator? This an M. Night Shyamalan joint? Have not seen it. Dracula? Have not seen it. This movie's called Dreamcatcher, and I'll have you know, I haven't, I haven't seen it. Escape Room? I haven't seen that. Evil Dead 2? That one I've seen, obviously. And I think you know where Evil Dead 2 is going. Come on. The, 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 this is a fucking no-brainer. That's, that's S-tier all the way. Um, Evil Dead 2 is one of the most fun movies ever made. It is just a joy to watch. Uh, and the, like, the... It's, it's Sam Raimi at the peak of his craft. Um, and uh, yeah, it, and obviously Bruce Campbell knocks it out of the fucking park. It's just a fantastic movie. Um, you know, what more can I say about Evil Dead 2? Evil Dead 1, A tier. I don't think Evil Dead 1 is as good as Evil Dead 2. I think it has its charms. I think that the the... Grittiness adds something to it, and I think the shoddy effects uh, give it a certain um, je ne sais quoi. But I, I don't, I don't enjoy watching it as much as part two. The Exorcist. Sorry, everybody. This is this is another one that I think is going to get on people's nerves. That's a, that's a solid C tier. 
But once again, you have to understand that when I when I was growing up, I was told The Exorcist. Oh, that movie's the scariest movie ever. Oh, I pissed my pants the first time I watched The Exorcist. It's so fucking scary. And then so like you're you're 16, and you're like that movie's not going to scare me. You sit down and watch it, and it's like whatever. Like I didn't really have the right frame of mind. I don't think when I watched it. Um, so that that might explain why it's so low on my rating and considered such a classic, but. You know, sorry, but it's, I'm just being honest. Flatliners? I haven't seen it. This is too quickly becoming the the uh, longest category. Um, the Fly. Ooh, that's tough. That is tough. Uh, to be clear, I'm debating between S and A tier. Uh, the Fly is one of the movies that really kickstarted my love of the genre. Um, I remember catching it on the Space Network, which is the Canadian equivalent to the Sci-Fi Network, uh, late at night one night out of nowhere. I'd never even heard of it before. I mean, I knew like the the original Fly with the guy going, "Help me, help me!" You know, I knew that one, but I didn't know the remake. Um, and it just it blew me away, and I just you know, I. The, the the practical effects in that movie I think are really only rivaled by the thing. Um, uh, I'm gonna put that in A tier. I think that is that is at least A tier. I reserve the right to later change that to an S, depending on how the the shape of the A tier looks towards the end here. Uh, the original Frankenstein. Obviously, since I don't like it as much as Bride of Frankenstein, I'm going to put that in the B tier. I think it's very good and historic, but uh, I don't know. I just I like Bride of Frankenstein more. It's more more exciting, and it and it doesn't ha- it doesn't have that shitty cop out ending where they uh, f- uh, Victor Frankenstein recovers and decides that he will marry the lady, uh, and there's no consequences, <laughs> and it just felt like a stage play ending that was really weird. I have not seen Freaks. Freddy vs. Jason. Now, look. I am who I am. Um, And you don't have to like where I'm putting this movie, but you do have to accept it. And I'm putting that in the B tier. Uh, And probably a lot of people watching this think that's way too high. I know that this this is a divisive movie. Um... I fucking love it. I think it delivers entirely on the promise it makes. And if you thought that... It, like, if this movie didn't give you what you wanted out of Freddy Krueger fighting Jason, then what you wanted was unrealistic. Uh, Friday the 13th Part 2? Okay. Uh, that's a D tier. I did not think Friday the 13th Part 2 was very good. That's Sackhead Jason. Um, and that's all I remember about it, to be honest. The Frighteners? That is a that is a solid B. Quite a fun movie. Peter Jackson before he did Lord of the Rings, Michael J. Fox. Um, Jeffrey Combs of Reanimator plays a serial killer who carves numbers into people's forehead. Uh, fun stuff. Uh, Fright Night. Hmm... Here's here's a weird one. I I don't think I've seen the original Fright Night. I don't think I have. I know I've seen the remake, and that was like weirdly fun and weirdly good. Like Colin Farrell plays the vampire in that one, uh, and he's great. David Tennant is uh, like a Chris Angel style magician. Um, I I've never watched the original, but it's right up my alley. I know I would like it. I need to I need to set some time aside and, and watch uh, Fright Night. I almost called it The Frighteners. Underworld? That movie sucks. Oh, that's Insidious, sorry. Underworld fucking sucks. Fuck Underworld. That's a terrible movie. That's a movie with a, with a, with a very neat premise, and that's all it's got. It's like they, they knew they had a fun premise that would hook people in, so they didn't bother to uh, make the movie more exciting at all. I'm going to... Move this this way. No, not like that. I'll cut that. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, look. 
Ah, calm down. I'll try. I'll try. I'll hopefully remember to cut that out in post. <laughs> there we go. This is this makes a bit more sense now. You can see all all of the covers. Uh, Insidious. I gotta be honest with you. I think Insidious is a very bad movie. I don't like any of the the James Wan spooky boo boo face movies. I just don't enjoy them. Um, so that's that's an F for me. I know people love that movie. I do not understand it. I don't. I I I find those movies incredibly tepid. Uh, I don't know what this one is. Oh, it's Gojira. Or uh, Godzilla, if you're a, a Westerner. Baka Gaijin. Uh, that is an all-time classic. Um, I think... I think that's got to go in the A tier. Um, that is a movie I don't think I appreciated as much as a kid. But definitely as an adult, I came to, you know understand it a bit better i didn't really have the context of of uh the the um the the atomic bombs being dropped on hiroshima and nagasaki as a 10 year old who just wanted to see godzilla but uh you know once you get a bit older it uh, it definitely hits a bit harder for sure uh let's see what's close encounters of the third kind i have not seen it I, I don't know if that's just Close Encounters and Close Encounters of the Third Kind. I don't think Close Encounters of the Third Kind is a horror movie, so it's probably just Close Encounters. I haven't seen either, so it doesn't matter which one it is. Halloween 3? That is a C-tier movie. It's fine. I think that movie, for a long time, it was severely underrated, and now there's this, like, reverse... You know, this this backlash against it being underrated, now it's like super overrated. This movie is fine. Everyone calm down about Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Hannibal? Yeah, it's a D. It's got that part where he eats that guy's brain. That's about all there is to recommend that movie. If you want to see some cool brain eating, check out Hannibal. Uh, I don't know what this is. Is this Jeepers Creepers? I must zoom in once more. What are you? Is this the happening? Surely they did put the happening on uh, on this list. The happening doesn't belong here. The happening doesn't belong anywhere. Uh, I guess that's a horror movie. Uh, that's that's an F. It's fun to make fun of. It's an F though. It's not a good movie. No one thinks The Happening is a I don't have to defend my position that The Happening is not a good movie. It's, it's very bad. <laughs> Happy Death Day. That movie is fun. I will put that at a B. That's Jeepers Creepers. That is not a B. Happy Death Day. That's a B. For sure. Now, Jeepers Creepers, I'm going to be honest with you. I have not seen Jeepers Creepers. However... I am not going to put it in the haven't seen category. I am going to put it in the F category because the director is a pedophile and Disney knew when they hired him to make this movie. So uh, this goes in the F category for me for that reason. The Hills Have Eyes. I have. This is another movie where I've seen the remake. I have not seen the original, which is doubly embarrassing because this is Wes Craven and I fucking love Wes Craven. Um, but unfortunately, I have to put that in the, uh, I have not seen it. House. This is the uh, Japanese film House, also called Hausu. Um, this movie is fantastic. It's, there's no other movie like it. If you've never seen uh, House, it is, it is a once in a lifetime experience. Do not, under any circumstances, look up house online just go watch it sight unseen i promise you you will not regret it um that's that's s tier all the way there's there's nothing else that even comes close to to what it does what is this one 
looks like it says House of Usher. I've never seen a film adaption of The Fall of the House of Usher, so I have not seen this movie. I've also not seen House of Wax. This one, once again, I can't tell what this is meant to be. Push? Hush. That's not the hush I know. Is it maybe say Rush? I don't know what this movie is, but either way, I have not seen it. I Am Legend. Big fan of the book. Not so much this adaption. I still, for my money, the the um, Vincent Price uh, adaption is still the best um, I Am Legend adaption. But the, the movie, I think, is particularly bad. This movie, the Will Smith uh, version from 2008, I think. I don't I don't remember what year it came out, but uh, it it so completely misunderstands the ending of I Am Legend. Uh, it it almost inverts it, but not in a way where it's commenting on it. It's it's almost like it didn't understand, or or the people writing it just like didn't just thought that the the ending was just like Richard Matheson being clever instead of like making a point. Um, and for that reason, I think this this movie is. F, F, just a terrible movie. Um, I would put it like maybe C or D otherwise, because up until then I was I was enjoying it. Like Will Smith is is a good actor and he he can carry pretty much anything, but uh, yeah, no. And and the fucking the creature design was so boring. Once again, I, another one I don't I can't tell what it is. I wish the writing was bigger on some of these. I Frankenstein. I have not seen I, Frankenstein. Uh, not a big fan of Max Landis, so probably won't. Interview with the Vampire. This is a movie I have a, a very fraught relationship with. Uh, I enjoyed the hell out of this movie when I was way too young to have watched it. And I did not at all catch the subtext that these two guys were boning down. And that, uh, in hindsight, is... Very cool. Um, I tried to read the book as well, but I was I was too young, and it was just a bit too advanced for me at the time. I got most of the way through it, but uh, eventually I just gave up. Um, but I think it's a good movie. I'm gonna put that in the in the B tier. I think Interview with the Vampire is a good movie. Now, what is this? <laughs> I'm sorry that I keep having to zoom in. I can't tell what a lot of these are, are, are meant to be. What are you? Invasion of the Body Snatchers. I'm assuming this is the, uh, the 1970s Invasion of the Body Snatchers uh, with the classic guy going, you know, you know the one I'm talking about. It's, uh, what's his face? Kiefer, Kiefer Sutherland's dad. Donald, Donald Sutherland. Uh, uh, he's got a curly, curly afro. Uh, uh, looking haircut. Um, I didn't like this movie. Uh, I feel like I'm alone in that. Um, I felt like the sense of paranoia that one should have uh, from an invasion of the Body Snatchers movie just wasn't there. Like there was just no tension to me. Um, I really liked the ending though. I thought the ending was very eerie. So that one I will put in the C tier. Uh, I, I think this is, I know what you did last summer. I think they used the cover from, I still know what you did last summer. Uh, but I think they obviously meant, I know what you did last summer. That movie's, it's fine. I I will, where did, oh no, where'd it go? Oh no. Oh no. Where are you? Where'd you go? Look, wherever I know what you did last summer ended up, I hope it's happy. You, do you see it? You're yelling at me that you see it. I don't know where I put it. Uh, okay, well, you know what? It'll turn up. Jack Frost? I don't think I have to say it. Fuck Jack Frost. That, that movie... It's, people remember two things about that movie. One is that there is a sexual assault in it. The other is that 
uh, the VHS cover was holographic, so he made a face when you turned it. Those are the two things that when people talk about Jack Frost. And if that's all you can talk about happening in your movie, that's, that's not a good sign. Uh, Jaws. That's, a, that's an A. I liked Jaws quite a bit. Um, not a big fan of the effect it's had on the film industry with like blockbusters just kind of taking over things. But I don't think you can blame Jaws for that. I think you can blame Star Wars for it. Uh, I like Star Wars. I'm just playing. I'm playing with you. Jeepers Creepers 2? Again, director's a pedophile. That's That goes in the F tier. It's just, that's where that goes. If there were a tier below F, if they made it like a, like a G tier, uh, then, then that's where that would go, for sure. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, have not seen it. Jennifer's Body, have not seen it. Uh, is this meant to be Monster House? What is this meant to be? This is Krampus. Krampus is a lot of fun. I like the Krampus. Uh, let's uh, let's put that. That's a that's a B. That's B or C. B. I liked Krampus a lot, and it's it's a uh, Christmas horror movies are hard to get right. So I think that's one I will definitely that, that of of the Christmas movies that I've watched. I think that's probably the one that gets the tone closest to right. Um, and Tony Collette, who I love. So, Lars von Trier's Antichrist. I have not seen it, but I have seen that scene of the fox biting a part of its own skin off and see, saying chaos reigns. And for that alone, I think the movie deserves to be in the A tier because I love that scene. And that scene has brought me more joy than most entire movies. So I will defend that decision to my death. The Leprechaun movies, look, I haven't seen the Leprechaun movies. I'm not going to. I don't care. It, I get it. It's very funny. He's an evil Leprechaun. Okay. Fine. Not for me. Let Me In. I have not seen Let Me In. I have seen Let the Right One In, which I quite liked, which I don't know if it's on this list. Uh, if it were, I think that would be an A. Uh, but I haven't seen Let Me In, so that's got to go. See, it's that's tough, right? Because I, like... Do I let it stand in place of Let the Right One In? In which case it should be in the A tier. I have heard that it's comparably good, uh, but I haven't actually seen it because it looked like exactly the same. And so why would I watch the same movie twice, but in a different language? Like, doesn't make any sense to me. The Little Shop of Horrors. Once again, I'm assuming based on this cover that it's the 80s musical version of Little Shop of Horrors, not the 50s version. Uh, with with Steve Martin in it, um, or Jack, or was it Jack Nicholson? Uh, I forget. But I think this is like the the one from the eighties that is uh, fantastic. I think that is a solid B, and that's having not watched it in a long time. Uh, that's a movie I keep meaning to come back and rewatch because um, I remember it being just a, a ton of fun. Mama. This is a movie that, that uh, I, I tend to very much overrate. Uh, I quite like Mama. It has some of the most fun creature effects uh, of its time. I think that the story is really compelling. I like the characters. I think it has a genuinely beautiful ending. I'm, I'm comfortable putting that in the A tier. What is this one? See... Okay, I'm assuming that says Ma the Mosque of the Red Death. Mask? Mosque? It's not a mosque like a, where Muslims go to pray, but I've never understood. I've never known how that word is pronounced. Uh, but I haven't seen it. Uh, Mimic. I have not seen it. Oh, this is the original My Bloody Valentine. Okay, so uh, where did I put the remake? Get out of here. No one likes your styles. You go here. Wax Museum? I have not seen it. Well, again, what is this? I I feel like that says Nosferatu, but it, the cover doesn't look like it. Hold on. 
I have no idea what this is meant to be. But I do I do feel like it says WF Murnau. Yeah, WF Murnau. So that is definitely Nosferatu. Uh, okay. We're back. Um, what do I think of Nosferatu? It's, it's like a movie that you watch just to say that you watched. Like it's, you know everything about Nosferatu going into it. Like there's, you know what the vampire looks like. Um, beyond that, like it's, you know, you've seen, if you've seen like the best parts of Nosferatu, you've seen the movie, which is to say the shot where he's like going up the stairs. If you've seen that, you've seen the whole thing. Um, I will put that as, as a C. Oculus, have not seen. I've heard it's great. Um, but I, it's, uh, I just didn't... Something about eye-based horror movies. Like, I always think of... I don't even know what it's called, but the one where the the person gets, like, the eyeballs of a killer. Um, I just always found, like, premises like that very hokey. Um, and I guess I assumed Oculus was the same. But I don't, I don't actually know what Oculus is about. So maybe I should... Give that one a shot. The Omen I didn't like at all. I, I, I thought The Omen was just a complete waste of my time. Um, I can see how it was shocking to audiences of its time. It, it did nothing for me. Uh, Ouija. Have not seen it. Not going to see it. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of movies based on board games. What is this? I'm sorry that I have to keep zooming in. All I'm seeing is a death. That's some kind of death. I don't know what that's meant to be. I haven't seen it. Okay, look. Now we're getting somewhere. Look, paranormal activity? You're not going to like this. That's an A. That's a very good movie. I know that that the the tide has turned very much on the paranormal activity movies. I think the first Paranormal Activity movie is, like, really well done. It is by far the best found footage movie that I've seen. Um, at, at least in terms of, like, conveying that this is happening and, like, making you feel like you're watching, uh, like, actual home videos. Um, and I found it quite actually frightening the first time I watched it. Um, so, yeah, I like it a lot. Have not seen any of the sequels, though, so let's get rid of these bad boys. Get out of here. Get out of here. Have not seen Pet Cemetery. Have not seen Pet Cemetery. Phantasm? I mean, do I gotta say it? Do I gotta fucking say it? You know how I feel about fucking Phantasm by now. I just did a whole series of Phantasm. It's the film of the summer. And that's why it's in the S tier. S stands for summer. Piranha? Have not seen it. Poltergeist? That is a B-tier film. I quite like Poltergeist. I think uh, it's it's just fun. It's like a good horror movie for kids. If if you were looking to introduce like a younger audience to horror movies, but like still scare the shit out of them, Poltergeist is is what I would recommend. Predator. I love Predator. I think Predator is a great movie. Uh, for what it is. Um, it is just, it is pure testosterone. Um, and I love it. Uh, it's it's also great to see like the slasher formula uh, done in this way where like instead of like weak teens, it's like big tough guys with huge muscles. That's just, that's fun. You don't see that a lot. What is this? What are you? Tell me what you are before I rate you. What is that? I have no idea what this is. I have no clue. Hold on. Let's get to the bottom of this. Oh boy. I feel like maybe it's Dark City? Uh... Which, I don't know if that's really a horror movie, but I can't tell. So I'm going to drag that down here. I don't know what it is. It's 
Is this rear window? It's Hitchcock. Well, you know what? I don't know what it is, but I definitely haven't seen it. Resident Evil? That's an F tier film. Fuck that movie. The, the whole Resident Evil franchise, I do not understand the appeal of whatsoever. The video games, sure, those are fine. Um, I myself had a great deal of trouble with the Resident Evil games. I am not good with horror video games whatsoever. I, I feel like I can watch any movie, cannot watch, I cannot play a, a horror game, they really get to me. Um, they make me like way more scared. But uh, the movies, I, I just don't understand the appeal. Rosemary's Baby, I'm sorry. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Actually, you know what? If I'm being consistent, that since the director of Rosemary's Baby is also a pedophile, I will put that in the F tier. That's right. Rosemary's Baby is going in the F tier. If you are a pedophile and you make uh, a, a horror movie, uh, I'm going to put it in the F tier. That's my opinion. Scanners? I regret to inform you I have not seen it. Larry. Scream 2. Well, let's, let's get these in order, okay? So, Scream, that's an A-tier movie. I think Scream is wonderful. I think it really holds up. Um, I think that the rules that it sets out for horror movies are really only true of slashers because it was a reaction to, like, the slasher boom of the 80s. Um, but I think it's a great movie. I love Wes Craven and... Uh, I have really nothing bad to say about the original Scream. 